Michelle here, Thrifty 101. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a Think Pink thrift haul. Everything on the table is pink, kind of a pre-Valentine's Day, if you will, haul. I hope you enjoy it. back up to Merritt Island last week and um, I was so excited to find that my favorite store it's not a charitable store up there but my favorite vintage store Retro City Rocket had reopened and uh, if you ever get to Merritt Island go there they just have the coolest retro everything from clothes to uh, dinnerware to somewhere everything anyways I found these pots here my one of my favorite color combinations they are obviously black lidded and pink and if you saw the bottom here it says oven bake usa or excuse me it says bake oven usa i paid eight dollars a piece for them which was which was fine with me a lot of people think that these bean pots or mini casseroles were made by crone and pottery i did a bunch of research and i kept coming up with cameron clay pottery company out of west virginia cameron west virginia to be exact and so I'm going to um, identify these as Cameron Clay. Cameron Clay was in business between 1954 and 1959. Very short run. This is part of the Royal Cuisine pattern or line here. And I saw these, I did some research and I found a 1957 ad and these were in them. So that's why I'm going with Cameron Clay. The, the reason that people confuse them is that Cronin Pottery looks exactly like this. And basically has the same show you again the same bake oven USA back stamp so they're virtually impossible to tell apart but because I did see these in the ad I'm gonna go with Cameron clay they came in lots of different color combinations this here obviously is the pink and black it came in turquoise and coral burgundy and gray green and pumpkin um, green and yellow turquoise and black just a, a whole lot of them they were mostly stole sold excuse me in department stores and what else can I tell you about them? I think I'm going to hang on to one and sell off two. I'm probably going to ask, I think, $20 for the two. I'm going to research that a little more. And on that note, I'm going to bring you to another piece, which brings me to this piece right here. You can see here it also says Bake Oven USA. This piece I found right here at Salvation Army. It had been in the Salvation Army for a while. I picked it up when it was 25% off, it was marked $4.99. I picked it up um, on 25% off day. You can see it's got some, some crazing and a little bit of discoloration in there, but it's in really nice shape. The reason I didn't pick it up the first go around is because this piece came with a lid. You can see here it's missing the lid. It's a great piece though. I think it would look perfect in somebody's kitchen. And again, I saw this piece of people listed all the time as Cronin or Cameron Clay. This piece was also in the same 1957 ad as the bean pots were. And I'm gonna ask just about $10 right here for this spouted casserole. These I had thrifted a while ago and they've been sitting in my cabinet and um, I think I might just get around to selling them. I got them I think a couple years ago when we were at Tampa at the Goodwill. You can see right here, or maybe you can't, but they are not marked. But I knew exactly what these were, and uh, they're almost, they're really hard to find. They were made by Hazel Atlas, even though there's no Hazel Atlas logo on there. That's because they were made for the Galston Company out of New York. And they're part of a 1950s salad bowl set called It's a Dilly. And uh, I haven't been able to find uh, the other pieces. I mean, I could buy the bowl out there, but it's kind of expensive, the bowl. So I think I'm gonna sell these two balls. They came in different color combinations. They came in green and brown, and I think they sold them off as both the green and brown together and the pink also. Anyways, these are Fired on Platinite, Hazel Atlas, 1950s. And I'm gonna ask $20 for the two balls. That's how hard they are to really come by. It's a dilly. Picked up this vintage pink melamine divided bowl. It is not marked, as you can see right here, so um, I pretty much gave up trying to identify it because so many different companies 
made pretty much the same pattern. I paid $8 for it at Rocket City Retro. Mark, Mark Press made this pattern. Stetson made this pattern. Windsor made this pattern. Just so many people. This is a nine and a half inch bowl. And I bought it because um, I thought it would go really pretty with my new sugar bowl. So that I'm going to keep. They probably sell for about, I don't know, an average of maybe $15 somewhere in that range. These are seven inch Hazel Atlas Modern Tone Platinite plates in the pastel pink color. They made a whole different line in pastel colors. They are fired on, and I'm gonna show you the back right here. Does not say Hazel Atlas. They were probably on the dinner plates. Excuse me, they started making Hazel Atlas did Platinite in 1934. They started making just glass colors, transparent colors, not the fired on. Fired on came, I think about two years later. And I think I'm going to ask about $15 for this set of four right here. The Hazel Atlas Platinite was um, treated with the fired on color and they were made mostly through the 40s. And in the 50s, they did a miniature children's set of Platinite. And that was the end of this line. Not really vintage, um, but really cute and great for Easter, and it's pink. I picked it up at the Goodwill for 99 cents. It was made by the Mud Pie Company. It's a 16 ounce bunny mug. I don't think it's ever been used. Look how cute it is. Or a bunny ears mug, people refer to it as. See right there, I didn't take the tag off. I paid 99 cents for it. And the Mud Pie Company, which was started in 1988 out of Stone Mountain, Georgia, has three different divisions. They have the Mud Pie Baby Division, the Mud Pie Living Division, where this was came, where this is part of, and Mud Pie Fashion Division. And their first products were actually ceramic painted brown to resemble clay. I haven't seen one of those yet, but I will be selling this and I'm not really sure on the price yet, but I think somewhere about the $10 range. I picked this up at um, the Goodwill, and if you've seen my videos, I pick these up fairly often, or not fairly often, but time to time, mostly in the amber, and I was lucky enough to find a Carnival Glass one recently, and um, I do have a pink one. I don't run into the pink very often. This is Depression Glass. A lot of different companies made it. It's called a Rolled Edge Mixing Bowl, part of a set of three. I'm gonna go with Hazel Atlas, and that pattern number is ATC14 in the pink. This is the largest bowl in the set. It's in really nice condition. You can see it has a nice star foot here. Federal Glass made them and a bunch of other companies too. It's impossible to tell one from the other. They're all identical. So that's why I decided to go with Hazel Atlas because I love Hazel Atlas. Anyway, nine and a half inch mixing bowl in the, a lot of people call it Rose Glow, but it's just pink. And I'm gonna ask about $20 for it. It's in really nice condition. Pick these up at the Rockledge Goodwill. I paid $2.99 for four pieces. They're all in really nice condition. They're crown corning, made in Japan. I date them to 1985. They're in the Prego pink pattern. They're very similar to the Prego peach, but I think these are, are in the pink. They made a lighter pink and a darker pink, this obviously being the lighter pink. And crown corning is a division of corning wear. They made them in Japan, Italy, Thailand. I think they might have also made them in the United States. Crown Corning was a designer of casual dinner wear, as you can see here. It's pretty casual dinner wear right here. And I have two nine inch lunch plates and two seven and three quarters cereal balls. And they sell really, really well. I think I'm gonna ask about $40 for these four pieces. I actually picked this up today. Uh, did a quick little run into the Goodwill. And you can see right here, it's not old, it's 2018 McDonald's. This is what I liked about it. I'm just saying McDonald's, yes. It says no caffeine for me today on this side. And on this side, it says just kidding, McCafe. So I thought it was kind of cool. I like the shape of it. It's just kind of different from the shapes here. I did some research into it and because McCafe to me uh, seems just to be a brand you can buy in the stores or I don't even know if you can buy them at McDonald's. I don't go there. But they have lots of Mick cafes, kind of comparable to Starbucks or coffee houses. I know there's some in Canada, and there's a whole bunch of them in Europe. 
And I, I don't know if there's any here. I think there was one that opened up in Chicago, and I don't even know how that did. Anyways, McCafe is actually a subsidiary, a subsidy of McDonald's. I think that this one might have came from uh, Germany because, and, and this is going to sound weird, the only um, people I see listing this mug have said that they're from Germany. They got it on their trip to Germany, or one seller is actually in Germany, but I guess it could have come from anywhere. Um, what else was I going to say about this? I'm going to sell it, I think, about 10 to $15. I'm not really sure, as so I just kind of picked it up right away, but I think it's pretty cute, and um, that's about it. <laughs> This cover casserole piece is probably my favorite piece in the haul, and I can tell you a little story about it. I had seen this at least a year and a half ago in Coco Village at one of the um, at one of the antique stores. Yeah, it's not a it's not a charitable store, and I loved it. I turned it over, and you can see right here there's nothing there. So I just kind of I don't know why I didn't take it. I think it was marked $28 at the time. I just left it there. I went back one time after that and I looked at it again and I thought I really should pick this up, but I did not. I, my way up to Coco Village, the last time I said, if that casserole is there, I am going to buy it. And I did. It was marked down, I think, to, I think it was marked down to $8. It might have been 10 I think it was $8. It's in beautiful condition. I just fell in love with it. From the start, I again, I don't know why I didn't originally buy it. Anyway, that's enough yapping on about it. I didn't really know what it was, so when I came home and started researching, and I had to research pretty hard to find out what it was, it turned out to be Taylor Smith Taylor in the Pebbleford um, line, which I was excited about. I don't have much in the Pebbleford line, only that um, uh, the butter dish I use right now. Anyway, they produce these between 1953 to 1960. It's a one and a half quart covered casserole in really almost minty condition. This shape is called the versatile shape, which was originally called the diversity shape. That didn't really catch on. It was designed by John Gilks. And also interesting to note is you might see these sold um, as a Catalina, but Catalina was, let me see if I can get this correct. This is a versatile pattern. This is Pebblestone. They also made a line called Catalina. It's exactly like this. It was sold a little less expensively, but it was not sold through Taylor Smith Taylor. It was actually made for a company called Sunset Potteries out of California. And if I were to sell this ball, which I'm pretty sure I'm not, um, I would be asking about $45 for it. They originally sold for three. Can you imagine? Thanks for watching my Think Pink Thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment. And if I don't see you before Valentine's Day, and I hope that I do, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. See you again soon. Bye. So, hope you enjoy. Here it is. Yeah. Platinite, excuse me. <laughs> Did you just hiccup? up?